Hi there, my name's Scott Wheeler and you can find more videos like this on our YouTube channel if you search for Gospel for Africa. And so we're in day 7 of uh, our 21 day lockdown here in South Africa and uh, maybe by now you're getting a little bit of cabin fever locked up in the property. Uh, I've worn a proper route around our property um, running and uh, just trying to keep busy and keep fit but as we continue to see how this whole coronavirus is unfolding many interesting facts are coming out and uh, we see right now we're uh, approaching 950,000 confirmed cases um, which tells me that there are probably millions of people who have the virus who have not yet been tested. We have over 45,000 deaths globally and counting. Here in South Africa we are a few weeks behind the rest of the globe so we'll probably see this peak in the next two to three weeks and uh, that may change everything for us and probably force us into uh, a further lockdown as uh, other nations are already um, talking about. But who knows how it's all going to uh, pan out. But um, a question that was asked is, is uh, sin worse than coronavirus? And I thought about that and the, the answer to that is a definite yes. And I just want to put it to you like this. I, I thought about Adam, right, because that's where it all, where it all started. And so uh, Adam and Eve are told by God, you can eat all the trees, from all the trees in, in, in the garden, just don't eat from this one. And they then eat from that one tree, and uh, the scripture then tells us this in Romans chapter 5 and verse 12, Therefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for all have sinned. And so, through the disobedience and the sin of one man, Adam, every person born is now born into sin. Uh, so you don't become a sinner, you're born a sinner. That's the scary thing. And so, uh, sin passes upon and death passes upon all of humanity. Every person born is born into sin. And so, clearly, uh, we have a serious, serious problem um, as humanity. And I thought about the coronavirus and patient zero, whoever that was, uh, and we know that uh, no one knows who the, the individual was because the Chinese obviously have covered that up, as they have done with a whole bunch of, of, of other things, including the, uh, their statistics around infection rates and death rates, and they're just lying to, to the world and trying to cover this thing up and not take responsibility for a pandemic that they have caused, which has affected the entire globe, cost the, uh, the globe trillions of, of dollars and massive, massive human loss. That they need to be held accountable. But patient zero um, uh, could go to the shops and buy whatever they need to buy to eat, like Adam and Eve. But no, just like Adam and Eve, there's the one fruit that they can't have that they've got to have. And so patient zero can't uh, help themselves by going to you know, a normal shopping center like normal people do. Uh, patient zero has got to go to one of the Chinese wet markets to buy something different. You know, like a, a snake or a pangolin or a bat. And so because of their uh, insatiable desire for for, for something that they shouldn't really be eating. And isn't that how we are as people? We, we always want what we're not allowed to have. But anyway, patient zero eats, for argument's sake, the bat. And corona jumps from the animal into the human. And without knowing it, patient zero continues life as normal, but begins to infect people. And we look today and how many are infected? How many will be infected? How many will die from this virus? But yet when you consider sin 
Of course it's for always. Because Satan, in his cunning wisdom, got to Adam and Eve right in the beginning before the first person was procreated. And so because he's able to get Adam and Eve to sin and get them to fall, every person thereafter is born into sin. So yes, sin is far worse. It's amazing how people could be living with corona and not even know it. They could have very mild symptoms. And, and you, you, just, you, you just look at the similarity between this and this account of Adam. How many people today, they're living with sin, but maybe with mild symptoms. They don't even realize they're sinners because the world you live in, you don't, you don't really consider yourself to be a sinner because you're no different to anyone else. And so, yes, we'll point out the, the rapists and the molesters and the murderers and, and those kinds of people. But sin is sin. Whether you have a mild symptom or a, or, or, or a fatal symptom, it's the same thing. If you've got corona, it's the same thing. But sin is worse than that. You know, in, in, with corona, you, you, you may survive, but sin has a consequence. And a consequence where we stand before God and we're accountable for our sin. There is no way out. With corona, maybe they'll come up with an antivirus in the near future. Probably. But with sin, how do you get out of this one? Who gets you out? Because every person born from Adam and Eve was born into sin. That means there's not a single person on the planet that is ever born sinless. But then, because of God's love for the world, he becomes a man. God in the flesh, Jesus. He gives his son. Jesus comes as a man, lives a perfect life, is sinless. And so therefore is the only one who qualifies to be able to become the sacrifice for humanity. And so he goes to the cross. The sin of the entire world is placed upon him, every human being. And he who knew no sin became sin for us. And the full wrath of God is unleashed upon his own son and he's judged in our place and so having taken the sin of the world upon him having paid the ultimate price for humanity the bible is then clear in verse 18 and it says therefore as by the offense of one judgment came upon all men to condemnation even so the righteousness of one the free gift came upon all men to justification of life isn't that beautiful so because of one man's sin, death passes upon all. But because of one man, Jesus' obedience, life is made available to all. The, so he says, for by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. So by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. What a great blessing for us. Yes, sin is the worst problem you could ever have. It's the greatest disease. And humanity are yet to face the full penalty for sin. But it's coming. But we can escape the judgment that is to come. Because when you believe upon Jesus Christ and you accept what he did on your behalf, he became the propitiation for your sin. And you accept the price that he paid and you believe upon him and you take him as Lord and Savior. The scripture says that, that he will give you life. That you are forgiven because he was judged. And so the only escape for this pandemic, the sin pandemic, is through Jesus Christ. And so, yes, we fear the coronavirus and the consequences of this virus. And we look at how it's wreaking havoc upon the globe. But yet every day we live with the worst pandemic, sin. And we don't take it that seriously. I want to encourage you to examine your heart. If you have not accepted the price that Jesus paid for you, then today is your opportunity. Call upon him. Cry out to him. Allow him to forgive you and then free you from this virus of sin, which has not just physical, temporal consequences, but eternal consequences, which are just 
too horrendous to even comprehend. Today, if you hear his voice, don't harden your heart. Call upon Jesus.